I like to present some innovations in uh, laparoscopic uh, ventral hernia like uh, umbilical, paraumbilical, epigastric, etc. I look at this uh, umbilical hernia that is about uh, two and a half centimeter in diameter and uh, he had a small uh, momentum tucked in there presented with pain and uh, only three ports here two five mm one is uh, inserted at the palmer's point the other one in the left ilia fossa and the the black the metal one is uh, for the uh, camera a 30 degree 10 mm camera is used and through the same port the mesh is introduced here what i am presenting is uh, a special way of uh, fixing the mesh normally the paratrix mesh or composite mesh is provided with uh, a suture proline suture in two points there are two threads and I snip off one of them there is only one upper and lower and instead I put two other nodes threads uh, proline threads this on the side so in each corner there is one proline uh, thread of about uh, six seven uh, inches uh, probably 10 centimeters 10 to 15 centimeters long threads and how this is going to be tied and the mesh is maintained in position that is what I am going to demonstrate here that's again a beautiful technique and uh, this is the diameter we use circular composite mesh from one of the companies and uh, this is uh, a polyglactin coated uh, mesh those who are not affordable uh, can make use of this mesh those who can afford we use the paratrix a composite mesh this is a coated mesh again with polyglactin coated mesh and proline a soft mesh and this mesh is going to be cut in a circular fashion the umbilical hernia and uh, when it is cut it will be roughly around 12 to 15 centimeters around and how this is going to be fixed that is what I am going to demonstrate so look at uh, the way mesh is cut that is cut in a circular fashion and uh, four sutures are taken with a 20 proline in four corners up and down above and below and laterally left and right four sutures single strand the mesh is inserted inside the abdomen through the tenemum port and uh, the put a tiny puncture one one to one and a half centimeters away from the marking laterally up and down and uh, the shoemaker's needle is thrust down to the tiny puncture and the thread is taken inside and uh, is brought out using the um, shoemaker's uh, needle cobbler needle so the four sutures uh, held up and down laterally and how you are going to tie this that is what you are going to see now so between the two threads in the middle put another nick again and the uh, cobbler's needle or the shoemaker's needle is uh, it takes the thread and uh, the needle is tunneled through the subcutaneous tissue and uh, in between the two threads a small another nick is made and the 
tip of the needle comes out and suture is taken out at that point. Both, uh, from both sides you take it out and it is tied at that point and uh, the thread goes under the skin into the subcutaneous tissue plane. And this is done above and below. You will be seeing this very clearly in the video presentation. That's the Palmer's Point, the first right hand operating port. There is an attachment. That's for the camera, 10 mm 30 degree camera that goes in and uh, you have the left ilia fossa, the, the attachments, the momentum, a fairly large uh, opening and uh, this is closed. I invariably, there are many ways of introducing the thread. I use a number two ethy bond polyester for closing the defect and uh, if it is very shallow defect not necessarily but uh, these defects unless you close the patient won't be happy and uh, you even after placing the mesh you find uh, there is a bulge again but uh, there won't be anything going inside the bulge. Yeah, that is closed with interrupted sutures. And this is the uh, proline mesh coated with polyglactin. Uh, those who are not at, uh, very affordable, this can be made use of. And for, I am using this for the demonstration purpose how you can cut the mesh and make it a circular one when you have an umbilical hernia. And uh, that's the shoemaker's uh, needle that is taken out with the thread in the middle. Yeah, yeah, the thread is held and uh, that is taken out. Yeah, thread is taken out at uh, four points. Yeah, that comes out. That is how, this is subcutaneous tunnel. The thread is brought bo from both sides, two threads. Uh, only at two points you have to bring this. And it is tied and goes, the, goes down the skin in the subcutaneous plane. That's beautiful. So, look at the mesh that remains uh, fixed in the middle, all around, uniformly fixed. Put uh, four or uh, five tackers and four or uh, five one zero vicral sutures as well in addition to the uh, attacker. Now we have uh, absorbable tackers and a little more costly than the metal tackers but uh, absorbable. But uh, you, those who cannot afford uh, tackers, uh, you can put sutures. Sutures, uh, roof suturing is not that easy but one can uh, definitely train and that is not difficult four or five sutures as well. Yeah, these are a um, couple of uh, few innovations in uh, hernia repair and hope uh, you enjoy it and uh, I would very much uh, like uh, your comments whether whichever way you comment about it.